Hi everyone, in this new video I want to show you how Download and install the app gallery This is the Huawei store First of all I have to make it very clear to you That that store works for all types of Android devices It doesn't necessarily have to be a Huawei And second, well, practically this store has improved a lot Practically we can find all kinds of applications that are in the Play Store and are normally there. In the In the Store, without anything more to say start searching, to start you search like this in Google Mac Gallery. They are going to enter the first page where it says Aguilary, Huawei Mobile Service. You click on the button where it says Download here. You accept the download and all that. And once downloaded, we search for the file or touch the file. That from there this will appear to us. In my case, like me, I have another. Another phone then I will install it. Practically directly. Indirect I say. We wait. Ready. Once installed, we open it. We must give you all the terms are necessary. A contract will appear that is normal. And once there, Wait a moment. They are going to seem like quite a different thing to you. So they are going to load. But then, they are going to appear. A large number of Chinese applications, which we are not going to be interested in, then to you. Have to have to give first. Where it says check for updates. We must update the app gallery. I don't. I know why we have to double update it. Yes, practically. They should do it from the app gallery page. Oh, well. They are Chinese and they will understand. Come, we must apply the settings. We activate that thing to authorize the installation of the gallery. Don't worry, absolutely nothing will happen to you. It is simply that the same store is going to be updated. And once there, well practically, we are going to enter another installed gallery and then for us to return so that the applications appear for our country why in that moment it will appear that the applications will be of the of the Chinese of which are exclusively for the country of China we see the part where they say I let's go to where it says settings and when it came time to give him the country it is going to ask us to download something called Huawei Mobile Service. You accept it. Wait for them to download. A small bar will appear. And from there we accept the installation and all that. And obviously, the gallery will restart. And we must give it another turn. To country and region settings. And most likely, they are going to ask us for a Huawei account. Do not worry, you can create one, or if you have one. Then log in, which obviously, because you saw already started, is why I already had the Huawei mobile service installed. Once started and all that, 
You accept all the conditions, and from there you choose the country where they are. And well, once here, all the applications will now appear that we are already much better familiar. The advantage one of the advantages that the Ayulari has, given what the producer does not have, is that first of all, the requirements for it to work. Many applications is that not much is required with Huawei. With those of third parties, that is. In the Play Store part, we will require Google Play service. Google Account Manager, huh? Google Snippets apart. The flamingos of Google Play service, that is. Google Play services, and a lot of things. Not all applications are like this, but many are. Well, and from there, for example, and from there with Huawei. It is simply with the Huawei mobile service, and that's it. Even in fact, you can remove yourself from Google services. In case you have a low-end phone and they can. And then it can improve performance. Up space. Well, anyway, you can find many applications there. You can explore in peace. That absolutely nothing happens to them. What is this Huawei store? I'm sure it's not that I'm sponsoring them. But if not, based on experience, I have already used the gallery a lot. When I was 107 p And then nothing. If this video served you any reason, leave me a like. Subscribe activate the bell on everyone. And see you next time.